guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to check your personal game data and how to check players that you uh, that you tried to report and maybe if they got banned uh, on Steam. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to your personal game data. You can do this by just going to uh, your profile and Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then there will be a, a place to find your personal game data. If you need a more step-by-step -step tutorial, there's a lot of them up on YouTube. So next what you want to do is you want to go to the Competitive Matches tab as you can see here. And then you want to make sure you have this downloaded the band checker for Steam. Uh, it's on Google Chrome. I'll, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, basically, once you have the band checker for Steam, it's going to give you some options up here. So you can set your Steam API key. You can load uh, the whole match history for all of your matches. And you can check your loaded matches for bands. So uh, basically what you want to do is you want to set your Steam API key first. That's uh, its own process, and I can't really go into it because I don't, uh, don't want to click on it right now. But basically, you can find it by clicking on the link that they provide, and then you want to put in whatever domain name that you want. doesn't matter, and then it'll give you a Steam API key. Uh, enter that into the text box, and then click Custom API Key, and then click Save, and you'll have it. Then you want to load your whole match history. This takes a little bit longer. Uh, it depends on how many matches you have, but it'll take a certain amount of time based on that. And then, uh, once you've loaded it all, you want to check your loaded matches for bans. As you can see, there were two players who got banned after playing with me. And then there were total, uh, a total of 9 VAC banned and 4 game banned players in the games that they scanned. So then you can just scroll down here. I don't want to give away too much information, obviously. But uh, you scroll down here and you can uh, you can see like who got bans. Like see, he got a VAC ban 2,000 days ago or whatever. And then sometimes you'll come across someone that uh, was banned like after playing with you <clears throat> and they'll be in red. So let's find the guy. There it is. So this one's in red and that means that uh, it was he was vac banned uh, after he played with me. Which means this guy was vac banned six days after he played with me, pretty much. Or sorry, he was banned six days ago, and he was banned pretty much thirty days after he played with me. So that's how you can see people that are banned after they played with you. And yeah, this will just scan all your games. It's it's not super hard. It's not a super hard process, and uh, it's pretty easy. It's nice information to have. Also, it gives you some loaded matches stats like your KD and your total kills and assists and everything like that. So yeah, for that, that is pretty much the the end of this. That is how you do it, and uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you want more content like this, just leave me a like or tell me in the comment section below. And thank you for guys for watching. Subscribe if you want more content, 